This week on Latest in Defence, we see a dramatic time lapse of the four year build of an aircraft carrier that will be the first of its kind. We show you the highly anticipated unmanned helicopter that's being used to support counter piracy missions. And lastly, we look at the first 3D printed metal gun and the torture test developed to trial it. This week, the US Navy christened its first Ford class aircraft carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford. To celebrate the event, shipbuilder Huntington Ingalls has released a time-lapse video of the construction of the ship. Currently around 70% complete, the USS Gerald Ford is due to be commissioned in 2016, when sea trials will begin. The most advanced ship in the US Navy's fleet, the carrier will be the first ever to use electromagnetic force to launch jets into flight. This is the same technology that's behind modern roller coasters. Four years is a short time in which to build an aircraft carrier. Seeing that compressed into just a few minutes really shows the enormity of the project. Turning our attention skywards, the next generation Fire Scout unmanned helicopter has had its first flight. Northrop Grumman's Fire Scout can be launched from the ground or from Navy ships to provide situational awareness for ground, sea and air forces. This new model can fly twice as long as its predecessor, up to 12 hours and has three times the payload capacity. Fire Scout was used in Afghanistan to identify targets in real time and is currently being flown from US Navy frigates to support counter piracy missions. This is one eye in the sky that really has proved its worth. Back on the ground now, Texas company Solid Concepts has manufactured the first 3D printed metal gun using powdered metals and a laser. The gun is composed of 33 printed components and is built to the design of the classic M1911 single action semi-automatic pistol. The company says the gun proves the process is accurate enough to make fully interchangeable parts. A recent torture test showed the gun was sturdy enough to stand up to firing 500 rounds but it could be even stronger after heat treating. We think this is a great step forward to proving laser printing could be useful for ad hoc manufacture of military components. In this edition of Latest in Defence, we've explored military technology for land, sea and air. Join us next time when we'll be bringing you more of the latest innovations supporting armed forces worldwide. In the meantime, do check out the Strategic Defence Intelligence website where you can stay up to date with the latest developments in the industry.